Hello, everybody. My name is Graham Elwood, and you are watching The Political Vigilante. Thank you, citizens for Gotham, citizens for Gotham, of Gotham, for joining us today. We have been, you know, we, we've talked about this before. When the yellow vest thing came happened about, I think, three, four, four years ago now, um, maybe even five, 2018, 2019, I think. And we showed how, like, in France, they were having weekly protests. And it was about initially, the yellow vest thing started as something like a, a, a toll for cab drivers to get on and off some bridge, if I'm not mistaken. And people were just fed up. And so now, not only we've shown you protests, anti-NATO protests in Europe, multiple European countries, including France, but what's been going on recently there is Macron raised the um, retirement age from 62 to 64, and people are like, had it. And you're just like, as an American, you're like, I wish we could get this kind of labor protest going. Uh, hats off to all the young people and working at the Starbucks. You know, they brought in Howard Schultz to bust the unions, and he had to leave Starbucks, and they've gotten, when he came in, there was something like 13 unionized stations, Starbucks, and now there's like, 290 or just uh, just under 300, I think, which is just impressive to me. Very, very impressive to me. But I want to show you this. And I'm going to show you how I saw this on Twitter and how the corporate media in America is barely covering the story. They'll put it on their online stories, but it's not like, you know, we start our story tonight with protests in France. There's no way. If there was labor protests like this in China, if there were people protesting the Russian government, if this would be, we would have every single camera from CNN and NBC and ABC and Fox covering this. But because it's like, we don't want Americans to get any ideas that they have rights, we're not going to see this. So here, here, I saw this on Twitter. And I, I don't, you know, this, this guy, uh, is a, I follow this guy. Uh, he focuses on Syria, Lebanon, and global jihadist terrorism, right? French protesters are burning down city hall. Similar footages in Syria, Iran, Russia, or China would have been broadcast 24 seven on Western media with calls for regime change and military intervention. This dude is so true, man. Again, if this was one of these countries that we di we didn't like, you know, we would be like, this government, they don't know what they're doing. Well, it seems like Macron doesn't know what he's doing, but we need neoliberal guys like this to help push our, you know, globalist capitalist policies all over the world. And the French people are had it, but this, this should be front page. This, we should be screaming, oh, we got to get Macron out of there. But no, we're just going to let this happen. But watch this. This is actual footage here. That's like a government building. They're setting it on fire. So they're burning down city halls. Look at this. And then this is what else. The French regime is condemning the protests for retaliating against the police. But when the terrorists burned pol policemen alive in Syria and Iran, France called them peaceful protesters and freedom fighters. So which one is it, Macron? Yeah. Bordeaux town hall set on fire in France pension protests. This is from BBC News, right? It's, and someone writes, it's fake news. They don't know what to. So let me go to this now. Again, this is from Reuters. Violence hits France in a day of anger over Macron's pension charges. But let's read the story. Police fired tear gas and fought with violent. See, listen, listen, even the lang even the way they cover it, you got to pay attention to the language here. Ah, shit, that's not what I wanted, that stupid ad. So again, pay attention to the language. They're not saying, again, if as that reporter said, that guy made such a great point. If this was in Syria or China, they'd be like, the citizens have had it with the corrupt, awful government. But no, 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 here, 
fought with violent black-clad anarchists in Paris. Listen to this language. And across France on Thursday, as hundreds of thousands of protesters march against President Macron's plan to raise the pension age, the ninth day of nationwide protests, mostly peaceful, disrupted train and air travel. Teachers were among many professionals to walk off the job days after the government pushed through legislation to raise the retirement age by two years to 64. Demonstrators in central Paris were generally peaceful, but groups of black bloc anarchists smashed shop windows. Oh, those evil anarchists demolished street furniture and ransacked the McDonald's restaurant. God forbid somebody hurt the Big Mac, you know, factory. Clashes ensued as riot police drove back the, and listen to this language. So the anarchists are problem. They're tried. Oh, most of the protests were peaceful. <coughs> Do we know this is even true? More than likely, they were peaceful and the cops showed up in riot gear and people said, nope. Minister uh, said 149 police officers were injured and 170 people were arrested across the country. Dozens of protesters were also injured, including a woman who lost her thumb, but we're going to lead with how many cops were injured. There are thugs, often from the far left, who want to bring down the state and kill police officers. This is their, this is their minister, interior minister. Unreal. Unreal. And when you just go do a search, right? I just did one on Google. You see, set on fire, violence in France. It's okay, Sky News. The Guardian, BBC covers it, NBC, anger at Macron, uh, Macron, right? One million march in France, unions call new pension protest. Okay, so this is ABC News, right? But you have to dig to find this story. And again, listen to the language of it. Violence erupted in some places as unions called for new nationwide strikes and protests next week, co coinciding with King Charles III planned visit to France. But look what if you go to ABC, their main page. So if you're just scrolling through ABC's main page, House Republicans failed over Biden's list of presidential veto. Okay, COVID-19 death rates, rioter charge, shooting suspect, judge blocks, abortion ban, veteran allegedly fatally shoot more shooters. Wow, I just every day is a bunch of shootings. Abortion clinic fire, Trump does Trump, TikTok CEO testifies on Capitol Hill. Where is, this is on their homepage. Not that some of these stories aren't important, but where is the story? Diane Keaton. Look at this. Let's go to CNN. Look at CNN's homepage. California's drought. Okay. Stormy Daniels story. Good Lord. Another mass shooting we got to talk about. Congress grills TikTok. All right. They're trying to shut down Ukrainian. Uh-oh. Russia, Russia. Russia, Russia. Rain, rain. Ukraine, Russia, Russia. Look at this. Where where is the story? Where is it? Fran there's a, there's a hundred thousand. There's a million people in the streets in France, and it's nowhere to be found. French. Here we go. Down. Scroll down here to this. French airport schools, oil refineries hit by national strike over pension age increase. The L.A. strike doesn't even get much traction. The L.A. Unified School District is on strike. By the way, did you know that? the second largest school district in the country, might even be the largest, but is on strike. But we got to talk about Stormy Daniels and Trump's this or that. Look what they're doing over just two years. This country, we can't even get Medicare for all. Americans are so propagandized. I see regular, some working class people going, oh, how are we going to pay for it? Because that's a, that's a line they've been fed. 
Imagine if we took to the streets like this and shut everything down and said, Medicare for all. What if every college kid and everyone with student loan debt took to the streets and said, erase student loan debt. If you're going to send, if the, if the military gets $858 billion a year, we can, we don't have to pay college anymore. It's done. And we want free college. We could protest this. This is why they don't show it to us. They don't want to give Americans any ideas. I'm telling you the summer of 2020, the George Floyd protests terrified the ruling elites. It terrified those in power. It terrified both parties. Everybody was protesting. Everyone was sick of everything. It wasn't just George Floyd. They were pulling down statues of slave traders. Everyone was done with it. Just done with it. And they know that if Americans realize that they're in class warfare right now, we're getting screwed over at every turn, Americans. Western Europe has had free health care for 70, 80 years. There's 38, 39 countries, I think, somewhere in there that have that have free college. We could do this with a general strike. They're shutting things down. They're raising the pension age. They're like, there's no oil refineries. There's no teachers. Teachers are on strike. I mean, oil companies, oil refineries, teachers are on strike, rail strikes. They're shutting the whole country down. They're like, this ain't happening, man. This ain't happening. We could do this in America. We could do this in America. It's tough when you have a hundred gun, you know, a hundred gun deaths a day. You know, what are they distracting us with? Trump's going to get arrested. All right. A former president that's going to get indicted. That's kind of big news, but that's all they're talking about. Yeah. And people just want to go back to brunch. Americans are barely getting by. Our government already didn't care about us and abandoned us during COVID. Trump didn't care. The Republicans didn't care. Biden certainly doesn't care. Our government does not care about us. They're just an extra two years, 62 to 64, and the French people are no, not having it. The whole country's going on strike. Imagine if we did that here, guys. Imagine if we did that here. Follow the money, connect the dots, get the truth. And support what we're doing. If you look at the scroll below, we've been demonetized for two years. I want to get these stories out to you. You're this, you're the, you know, you're the best, smartest audience on the internet. This is the people's channel. I I I'm demonetized by YouTube. They run ads. YouTube runs ads on this show, but I don't get paid for it. So they're profiting off of the clips on this show, but, <laughs> but I don't get any money from that. So, and also come out to a live show, guys. Um, my new special is out, Manifested. It's on All Things Comedy's YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube and type in Graham Elwood Manifested. Please watch it. It's great. Share it. And then come to a live show. I'm in Hawaii the end of April, Maui, April 27th, Kona on the Big Island, April 28th, Honolulu on the beautiful island of Oahu on April 29th, and then Arizona, Phoenix, May 11th, and Tucson, May 12th. All those tickets are at GrahamElwood.com. Come out to a live show. It's a lot of fun. And we'll see you soon and shave your knuckles for justice. Boom. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. We are still in our like ninth month of demonetization from YouTube. So support what we're doing at patreon.com slash Graham Elwood or rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood, which is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. It's free to sign up and there's a premium level at $10 a month. And for that, you get everybody on the platform's premium content. Myself, Lee Camp, Ron Placone, Jimmy Dore, Whitney Webb, Kim Iverson, Abby Martin, and many, many others. You can also support what we're doing at Venmo at Graham Elwood and go to GrahamElwood.com. We have a PayPal button and a PO box. I also have crypto wallets, which are all in the show notes. Thanks for supporting what we do.